So first thing I want to say is thank you very much for 10,000 subscribers. When I started this channel, um, I never thought it would have reached that sort of level, especially because my content is very niche. So I didn't see how me talking about fashion the way I do anyway would build such a big audience. So very grateful for everyone who watches, um, both people that like me and the people that hate me, but yeah, that's irrelevant. But anyway, before I continue this video, you can follow me on Instagram at Fashion Roadman. And if you're interested in joining a group chat full of like-minded people who are interested in high fashion or luxury fashion, um, I have a Discord chat. So the links to everything will be in the description below. So just check that. Now, a question I get asked a lot is, um, how do I know what's going on in fashion? Apart from like, how do you know about fashion history, which I've touched, um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put like an icon now. But um, in that video, I was saying that you can learn fashion from magazines, like these ones behind me. You can learn from documentaries, books, and loads of other stuff. Now in this video, I'm more talking about how I stay up to date with what's going on in the current day. And a good way to stay up to date in terms of fashion is by listening to podcasts. Now I'm not sure about you guys, but I, I listen to music, but not too much. Like if I'm playing basketball, I'm on a run, I'm mo like most likely listening to a podcast as opposed to music, which most people would. So in this video, I've been rambling for so long, but in this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite fashion podcast. So the first podcast I'm going to be talking about is Amondi. Um, the name of the podcast is, I think, I'm not sure if it's Amondi, the cutting room floor or just the cutting room floor but it's by a fashion designer and her name is Rachel Amondi. So Rachel Amondi is a fashion designer of Kenyan descent. Um, she's based in New York, if I can remember correctly. And what I love about her podcast is she chooses some very captivating topics that she talks about. It's kind of funny because most of her opinions I kind of agree with. Everything she says um, is stuff that I think, but I just don't know how to articulate it the way she does because she just has a way with words. So yeah, definitely watch her, not watch, listen to her podcast. Uh, she also interviews a lot of designers. She's interviewed Heron Preston, Martine Rose, a lot of um, fashion designers. So yeah, definitely listen to her podcast. Oh yeah, by the way, in this video, um, when I talk about podcasts, so I listen to podcasts on the Apple Podcast app. So if you have like an Android phone, I'm not sure what app um, you guys use for podcasts, but I'm sure there is one. So yeah, on Monday, the cutting room floor, very polarizing topics that she chooses. Um, she's talked about things like how a lot of fashion designers these days are like mediocre because the entry level to fashion is so low compared to how it was before and stuff like that. A lot of opinions I agree with, but anyway, definitely listen to her podcast. Hers is not more like current news and talking about what's currently going on. It's more like she picks a topic every week and kind of like talks about it essentially. Or she interviews an industry creative or someone that kind of, I don't know, works in the industry in whatever way. The first time I actually found out about her um, podcast was on SoundCloud. And it's quite funny because I think the first episode I heard of hers was um, everyone wants to be a stylist or something like that and it was hilarious. Like talking about, I think she had a stylist, a professional stylist on that interview and they were kind of talking about all the intricacies of being a stylist and how complex it is but because you know in fashion these days it's kind of watered down so people on Instagram you know put together a couple outfits and then they change their Instagram bio to like a stylist. I thought that was funny but yeah definitely check her out. Um, the cutting room floor. So the next podcast I'm talking about is called The Business of Hype and this is um, on Hypebeast Radio which I think is under Hypebeast um, and it's hosted by Jeff Staple um, who's from Staple Designs. He's like a designer and also known as like a sneaker legend because um, obviously he designed the Nike SB Pigeons I believe and that was kind of one of the first 
sneakers that was like really hyped but that's beside the point this podcast is probably one of my favorite podcasts out of this whole list and the reason is because the business of hype yes he talks to not just fashion designers really he talks to businessmen um like there's he's had someone on the podcast who owns or who is one of the founders of the luggage brand away so he doesn't just get fashion designers but it's really good to listen to this podcast because they talk about the business aspect so in this podcast let's say he interviews a designer he'll talk to them about where they grew up how they got to where they got to the in- the intricacies of the business side of things that people don't normally hear or don't understand that there's a lot of logistics that goes behind fashion it's not just like you're a good designer and suddenly you have a big brand there's like a lot that goes into that and i think before i started listening to this podcast i was so naive on how many parts have to be put together to make a successful fashion house like just being a good designer is like such a tiny aspect of having a house that yeah it was really good to listen to this podcast and this is one of the podcasts that i always look forward to their episodes so yeah definitely check this out uh business of the business of hype um hype beast radio so the next podcast is the business of fashion now most people that are into fashion already know about the entity the business of fashion so what i would say about this podcast is it's kind of like an extension of the youtube channel a lot of the interviews that they post on their youtube channel they post on this podcast on their podcast platform um however i do prefer which is why i'm putting it here i do prefer to um listen to the podcast as opposed to sit down and like watch a youtube video because i'm always on the go like i'm always doing stuff so i'd rather when i'm traveling like listen to the audio so yeah there's not really much to say especially if you know what the business of fashion is if you've seen their youtube channel um and if you haven't checked them out they just interview or hold a lot of panels with a lot of Uh, people that work in the industry from like models to designers to photographers stylists everything so uh, it gives you really good context behind once again the work people do the intricacies behind it and stuff like that so definitely a really good podcast to listen to Um, another podcast that isn't on this list actually um, I'll say this quickly is show studio and the reason why I didn't add this is for the same reason the show studio podcast is podcast platform sorry is an extension of their youtube channel so a lot of the interviews and panel discussions that go on their youtube channel they put on their podcast platform so the next one is the high snobiety podcast and this is hosted by noah thomas and gene de leon and this is more like if you want to keep up to date with what's going on like they talk about they have news probably every single week about what's going on in fashion, like the latest fashion shows, the latest collabs, which designer is moving where, like all that sort of stuff. And it's quite funny because people associate things like Hypebeast, who have Hypebeast Radio with hype and the same thing with High Snobiety. They kind of put them in a box where they only talk about hype stuff. But if you listen to like the podcast, these are big publications now, so there's many different sides to them. So if you're interested in like luxury fashion, you just want to go to one place where you can keep up to date like okay yeah Dior just had a show like yesterday Uh, let me have a brief like overview of what happened in the show this is the best place to listen to that sort of stuff Um, so yeah definitely check them out High Snobiety Podcast definitely a really good podcast to check out the next uh, podcast is on another podcast I really love Um, it's by ID and as you can see behind me I'm a big fan of id magazine to say the least but um yeah it's called fashion on fashion off i think and this podcast unfortunately they don't really release that many episodes but when they do release an episode it's like something you really really need to listen to um so they normally only release episodes during fashion week and it's like in-depth kind of like discussions between a couple of hosts on like what they thought of the shows so I think it's really good to listen to what they have to say because some of them are really respected journalists and some of them do work for ID obviously. Um, so these are the guys that kind of write um, articles for ID and stuff. So it's good to hear their opinion. Not, I don't necessarily agree with everything they say, but I don't like to 
not listen to other opinions. It's really good to listen to a wide variety of opinions. Um, I think that's just how you stay open-minded and you don't get lost in kind of like your narrow way of thinking. So yeah, if you're interested in fashion, this is another really good podcast to listen to. They just review shows um, and they go kind of deeper in depth than let's say a high snobiety into kind of what happened in the show, the references and stuff like that. Whereas High Snobiety though, why they're also good is they release consistent content and they don't just talk about Fashion Week like ID. They talk about stuff that's just going on in fashion like news. Like let's say Virgil had a collab with Nike, they'll talk about it. Let's say Awake when they collabed with um, ASICS. So that's how I know what's going on. Like people are like, how do you know Awake had an ASICS collab? I didn't see it anywhere. It's like, well, the High Snobiety podcast, they talk about everything. Obviously that's not my only source, but it's one amongst many that um, throughout the course of this channel, um, I'll get into where I get all my fashion information from because there's so many different directions it'll take me a year to talk about. Now, the last podcast I'll talk about is GQ Style. So obviously it's by GQ Magazine. And their podcast, it's kind of, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it because they it's like a couple of people and they chat about fashion very casually. Now, for someone like me, I have to be in the mood for it. Like sometimes it just comes across to me like a long ramble and it's just like baseless and like you don't really learn anything. It's just people just rambling. And then other episodes, they say some really good stuff. So yeah, I'm not too sure how I feel about this podcast. I do listen to it sometimes and sometimes I don't, but yeah. It was good to add it to this list because I still do enjoy quite a couple of their episodes. So yeah, so yeah, if I left out any fashion podcast that you guys listen to, um, definitely comment down below. I like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you're already subscribed, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Um, that's just so you get notified when I post a new video um, and that would help the channel a lot. Um, but yeah, sorry for my voice by the way. Um, yeah, I've been going out a lot so my voice is kind of not there right now but yeah, hopefully my voice is better when I film tomorrow but yeah. Once again, Thank you very much for 10,000 subscribers. Never thought I'd get to this point. Um, if you watch one of my first videos on this channel, I was literally so thankful that I had, I think it was like 40 subscribers or something like that. So yeah, it's crazy, man. Crazy journey. But yeah, 